He is Mark Cuban here on the Rich Eisen Show. How are you, Mark? Good, Rich. How are you? It has got to be amazing to it's watch fun. this kid work, man. It it's, is fun. He's such a good kid, too. I just love hanging out with him. He's a kid, you know, and he plays like you're playing with a, good, a dude playing pickup at the Y, and he's just having a blast, and everybody who plays with him loves to play with him. It, it's just special to watch. Now, when you walk me through that, that draft night trade, Mark, and, and how that went, how that worked. I mean, were you nervous because yeah. it, it involved another team and other players that had yet to be drafted? I mean, what, what, well, when... there was a couple things that had to happen. First, you know, there were the teams ahead of us. And, you know, typical in, a, in draft, every team kind of has a good feel what the other teams are going to do, but you're never 100% certain. So we thought that number one would go DeAndre Ayton to the Suns. We weren't sure what the Kings were going to do. They ended up selecting Marvin Bagley Jr., and so then we got on the phone, and we had, we had been on the phone with the Hawks off and on throughout the entire day, and it was like, okay, we got five minutes, it's decision time, and so we talked and went back and forth, and they came back. We wanted certain protections, and we did the negotiating, and they basically said, you know, this is the final offer. You've got to say yes or no, and I looked at Donnie Nelson, our GM, and Rick Carlisle, our coach. I'm like, look, if this, good is, if this kid is as good as we think he is, we're not going to argue about protection for the pick. We just got to say yes. We said yes. A couple minutes later, we were making the pick and selected Luca, and the rest is history. Well, I mean, uh, and then obviously um, the rest is indeed history, but what, what made you think that this kid is that special? I mean, we've been following him since he was 16 years old, I mean, if not younger, with some of our scouts out in Europe, and everywhere he went, he won. I mean, 16, 17, 18 years old. He, you know, at 17, he was playing against the OKC Thunder and, and holding his own. And he just, he just has that winner's mentality, but he also has the skill set to go with it. And, it, you know, I don't know that he's at LeBron basketball IQ yet, but he, he's approaching that. And that, that plus his physical abilities, plus his willingness to work and get better, his willingness to learn, that, that really just that entire package – just said, okay, we got to go for this. But you would would you term him ahead of schedule? <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, he's he's a slacker. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, by by that I mean is like the, the, you you envision no, this. No, I had no idea but, he'd be this good this soon. Right? None, none. I mean, he showed us some things last year, but the the work he put in because he tailed off at the end of the year last year. I mean, he he wasn't used to the grind of a right. eighty two game schedule, and so you know we put it on him to work hard over the summer. Um, that he couldn't be chubbier than the owner, and he had to get in great shape, and he did. He took on every challenge that we gave them. He's, you know, he's becoming more and more disciplined, which is shocking for a 20-year-old. I mean, Dirk was the most disciplined player yeah. that I was ever around. But at 20, when I first bought the team, Dirk was eating Snickers bars and <laughs> chips, you know, before and after games. And, and so Luca, I think, has picked it up a little bit more quickly than Dirk did. And, and that's a big part of the equation. Well, I mean, Dirk lasted a long time for somebody that was eating like such uh, Yeah, we garbage. Did, he learned very quickly. You know, <laughs> no more Wiener Spitzel and, you know, nice. and, and Snickers bars on the road. And, and so he got, you know, like Dirk would not, would not touch alcohol, would not eat sugar, would not eat anything fried for the last 15 years of his career. Mm-hmm. And Luca's not there yet, but he's he's taking those types of strides forward. Well, a, a couple more on this kid. I mean, again, because he's so special. Mark Cuban here on the Rich Eisen Show. Um, the fact that he did get to actually play with Dirk for a year, the fact that there is a connective tissue, do you think yep. that has anything to do with what we're seeing right Absolutely. now? Absolutely. I mean, he got to see just how hard Dirk worked, um, just the discipline that it took, um, the way Dirk interacted with fans, the, you know, the way Dirk carried himself, you know, because he, he's still at 19 when he came in. He's still very impressionable. Even though he'd been around man, he'd been playing professionally for years, you know, it, the NBA is just a different beast for everybody who comes in. And so just being able to see Dirk and his approach and his work ethic and his discipline made a huge difference. And they still talk all the time. They do. Okay. And then um, he's still just 20. I mean, we, yeah. we know, we're, you know, we live in a crazy world and the NBA where, where life comes at you fast. I mean, do you have any plan? Is there any plan in place to keep an eye on him or anything no, like he's, that? No, he's mature. I mean, he's goofy, but he's mature. I mean, you know, it's not like we have to keep an eye on him. Um, you know, he, he's, 
settled down in Dallas. He's got a place. Um, got the nutritionist that we work that he works with. He's got you know all the the tools. I mean, you know, we try to take the the approach. It's not just your body. It's not just your skills. It's also your mind. It's also your nutrition. You know, and, and give all of our players every edge that we can give them. And you know, he, he's really taken to it. He's lifting weights for the first time in his life. I mean, it's he, he's really he's he's mature and he's street smart. You know, it's not like you know book smart where he's gone to college. But you can put him into any situation, and he knows what's going on. He's really a smart kid. For more of The Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download The Rich Eisen Show app.